What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Like a Dragon Yushin. Last time we finally finished, uh, uh, Sakiko's substory, and now we are going to continue finishing up the substories we can do for right now before progressing on to the main game, and I saw that there's really only two. One is here. Ow. Hey, are you alright? Damn, back of mine gave out while I was chopping. Ow. Mm. Well, cutting wood at your age, it's bound to happen. What the hell did you just say to me, boy? I've been chopping since before you were a speck in daddy's eye and my back's never failed me. Well, now it has. Maybe it's time for you to ask someone to help you out. <sighs> like any... The good for nothing's around here will lift a finger to, for an old codger like me. You shouldn't give up without trying. People are more willing to help out than you might think. Mm -hmm. Well, how about you then? Yeah. What? Uh. You look to be in good enough shape. I got an eye for those with chopping potential, and you're one of them. Which means we're playing the chopping minigame again. We just have to do this once mm -hmm. and it's over. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So you spin that whole yarn to me about how helpful folks are, and then leave me standing with my thumb you know where. Hmm. He's got you there. Well, if I don't chop, I don't eat, you know. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Maybe not all you young bucks are rotten apples, huh? Ah, damn it all. You made me laugh, and now my back's out again. Hey, come on. Are you sure you're alright? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about me. You've got logs to split. I'm gonna need about 20 or so pieces. I know you're wet behind the ears, but just try to get me 20 good chops. Press the crossbow at the right time to chop wood. Yeah, we saw this before. I'm not sure why they're giving us the tutorial again. When we Ah, damn it. I don't know if this one actually has a time limit. I'm tempted to try and stop at a hundred just to get that out of the way. So, I guess I'll see you after I chopped a hundred wood. Or until it stops. Okay, got a hundred. Well, you didn't embarrass yourself after all. Here, a hundred mom for each piece. Take it. 
You're not so bad, boy. Thanks. Appreciate it. But what are you gonna do now? You need to rest your back longer than this before you work again. Who knows? This is the only way I have to make a living. And if I can't rely on myself, who have I got to turn to? If only there was someone. Someone capable and trustworthy. Right here. Oh. Someone willing to help out an old man. Uh, Ryoma, I think he's talking about you. An old man with an old back. Fine. If I'm around, I'll chop more wood for you. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> You're too kind. You know where to find me, boy. Whenever you feel like helping out your elder. Until my back's on the mend, I'm on you to do my chopping. Form the bond with the woodcutter. You can deepen your bond by continuing to interact with him, fill in the bond gauge. And now we need to head over down to the docks. Which is past them. So, I'm sorry guys, but you're gonna have to get out of my way. Yeah, I am not... In case you haven't noticed, I'm not the most graceful one here. So now, we need to find the fisherman. Which should be... Around here. There he is. At least I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Hold on, was it not you? Please don't trigger, please don't trigger, thank god. <sighs> what am I going to do? Looks like it's finally time to pack it in. And that fisherman seems kind of down. Ooh, loot. Deluxe passion pill. What is that? A stimulant. Charges up some heat. Ooh. Oh, I have to do each individual one. Okay, I'm going to do that off screen for the sake of the video. But we do have some. Oh, wait, no, those are swordsman orbs. Yes, and yes. Now we have four of these. Deal extreme damage while we on a massive Odachi. Note, you will not gain style experience when using a special weapon. With an Odachi equipped square triangle circle. Sure, let's try it. So what's on the other side here? Grease the strength to attach the heat engines using Odachi. Slam an enemy into a wall with your mighty Odachi. Consumes heat. Let's increase the damage. And... Let's also get the new heat action. Because I love me a new heat action. 
Set enemy off balance when then curve them up with three precise slash slashes. Consumes heat. R1 then press cross button toward a nearby enemy and press the triangle button. What is this one? With an Adachi equipped, triangle with an enemy near a wall. Now we can talk to you. <sighs> what am I gonna do? You okay? Seem kind of blue. Oh, yes. It's just I have to bring a fish back home with me today, or else I'll have to give up my passion for good. The desperate fisherman. You mean you'll have to quit? I love fishing. Probably more than most. Only trouble is, I'm terrible at it. Haven't caught a single fish since the day I first cast out. Wait, not even one? Not a one. What's worse, my wife just loathes how it swallows up all my time and effort. I work my tail off and can't even bring home a decent meal. She finally decided enough is enough, so I made a promise that if I don't show up with a fresh catch after today, I'd never fish again. That's rough. Even today, I've got nothing. Not even a twitch of the old rod. At this rate, my fishing days are sunk. Hey, here's a thought. This may sound strange, but do you fish? Uh, yeah. Now and then. I beg you, can I have some of your fish? Smallest you've got, even. You want my fish? Well, I can't ask anyone else. Please, you'd be doing me a huge favor. I guess I can help him out. All right. If I buy myself with any extra, I'll give them to you. Really? Ah, thank you, you're a lifesaver. I'll certainly try and catch some fish on my own, of course. Still, please let me know if you've got any to spare. Okay, so we can either do this one of two ways. We can either have... We can either buy a fish from the store, or we can actually get something from the fishing minigame. Now, I think I've... I think I've already have a fish. Wrong button. Alright... Yeah, I have a sweet fish. A popular fish with one of kind scent, territorial and surprisingly fierce. I'm damaged, I am not damaged. But we haven't actually done the fishing minigame yet, so let's check that out. Now I just sort of skimmed through this. Basic controls. In the cursor with the left stick, then press the cross button to cast your line. If a, fre if a fish bites, your bobber will start to move. Press the cross button the moment the bobber dips into the water. That's a bay of fishing gear. Scattering bay will increase the number of fish in the area, thereby increasing your chances of for a rare fish. The better your bait, the greater the effect. Bait effects last about 3 minutes per use. Your choice of fishing gear will affect how easily you can fish. It may also change things like how far you can cast your line or how easily you can hook a fish. You can exchange your virtue for new fishing gear at the various shrines around town. Fish found at the fishing banks. Right, so the fishing banks good for... Okay, so white bait... Thread sail fish, file fish, squid, goby, scorpion fish, tiger prawn, porcupine fish, common octopus, Japanese puffer, sea bream. Okay, that just tells me the. To the fishing banks. Bait and cast rage rod hook to let fishing gear tackle. Gear for river fishing. Hooks river fish easier and is quite responsive. I want to say this is sea fish though. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't have bait. Huh. Oh wait, no, I see it now. Oh, you don't actually fight them this time. Gotta go, B. Okay, so that's interesting. You don't actually fight them this time. So they really, really simplified it. Today's the day. How's it going? They biting? Nope. <laughs> Not today. Upper fish. Which I hand over. Let's give him a goby. I brought you a fish. Brought you some fish. Whoa! Get a load of this one. Okay, this has got to be the last time. She's bound to believe in me now. You really saved me by the skin of my teeth, no less. Huh, <laughs> no problem. Don't be so modest. I'm hanging on by a thread here. Regardless, thank you so much. Okay, and I think that is it for the sub-stories we can actually do at the moment. But, wrong button again. I want to go over to the shrine. Oh, I see you. And maybe trade in some of this virtue I've accumulated. Ooh, prize tickets. And also maybe check out the prize counter. Never mind. Oh yeah, I also need to go into here into the dojo. Mm. Aha, welcome back. Care to learn something? Hmm, teach me. Please, teach me. Excellent. Let's begin. This time, I'll have you learn a technique which can dramatically shift the tide of battle to put you on the offense. We've gone over avoiding attacks from armed adversaries. This is suited for empty-handed foes, or those wielding blunt instruments. Fists and small weapons are simple to use, therefore your enemies may become rather persistent. Against ceaseless attacks, your defensive stance will eventually break. Thus, you must employ the Komaki knockback. So, what are your, what you're saying is that I need to guard against my enemy's attacks and find a chance to repel them. Just so. A trivial matter for a fighter like yourself. I've instructed my student to attack you with intermi interminable fury. Utilize the knockback to create opportunities to counter them. Now, are you ready? Begin! While guarding with L1, press triangle to deflect the enemy's attack to gain the chance to strike back. Ah, oh, it's supposed to hit him. Prodigious. 
that will do. Kamaki Knockback has been unlocked. Now these unlock the abilities. You don't actually learn them. You have to put in like ability orbs into them. The Knockback has excellent utility, though its potential to damage your opponent is limited. You must be sure to exploit the openings it creates. Right, I understand. Very well. That'll be all for now. Let's see. So this is all in Brawler. Uh, S Dharma Tumblr. Okay, Shadow Bind. Oh, I am blind. There it is, the Kamaki Knockback, and wow, that is fairly decently far in. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? Return to me after, say, three more battles. So three more fights, huh? Okay, now off to the shrine. Change virtue. What do we got? We have three thousand. Uh, let's increase our storage. Gain more virtue. Ooh, that actually might be nice. Reduce the penalty on virtue accumulation for eating slash drinking at full. Let's gain more virtue. Let's get enhanced. Yeah, enhanced sprinting and the C classic. Oh, it looks like there's a bit of congestion there. See you guys! Because now it's off to main story. Because that's really all that was left. Huh. I thought it would trigger the moment I entered the... The building. Well, in this case, let's also check on this guy. It's the author's room, Natsumi. Wonder if he was able to finish this new story. Uh, give me a set to pull up the guide on this one, because again, I want to get the best results. Natsumi, are you in there? Like, I don't know if there's like any. Saito-san, I owe you a great deal of gratitude for your help. I don't think I did all that much. Nonsense. Without you, I never would have been able to finish my novel on time. Oh, you made your deadline. I'm glad. Indeed. Which reminds me, I've received quite a number of letters from those who've read it. Hmm, that was fast. How's the response been? The reception for I Am But A Cat has been... <laughs> Astonishingly good. People love the idea of saying a novel from the perspective of a cat. 
That's great. It's all thanks to you, Zaito-san. Here, I'd like you to have this a gift. Broken Compass. Now, as a result of its success, I've already accepted a commission for my next novel. Mm. You're becoming quite an accomplished yeah. author. How I wish I were so. I would have achieved nothing, however, without your intervention. I fear my next work will only disappoint. If it's not too much trouble, I would welcome more of your... Per perspicacious advice. I've got no problem offering you suggestions, but I really don't know how helpful they'll be. That's all I ask. So, once again, I have a basic idea for my tale. What kind of story is it this time? Well, the main character is a school teacher, though he's a brash and reckless young man. And he, in his tenure, finds himself ensnared in a battle of wit and will and wit and will by the strong personalities which surround him. He falls prey again and again to adversity, either through happenstance or as co consequence for his own intractable sense of morality. Ultimately, he resigns and finds a more peaceful life elsewhere, having at last outgrown his childish predilection for errors and botches. Sounds interesting. What aren't you sure about? Well, he needs a nickname. Eh? That's it? That's it, yes. I plan for the entire cast of characters to be known by... Sobercrays? Sobercues? I may be pronouncing that wrong. Give me a sec. Sobercay. Okay, Sobercay. My sober case. Their real names in eschewed by the narrator. Our protagonist should be called something familiar and evocative, and that will serve too as the novel's title. Hmm. The protagonist's nickname and also the title. Yes, indeed. Hmm. He should be an animal too, the great gallivanting disaster, or Botchchan. And the answer is Botchchan. Botchchan. Sorry, that's the first name that came to mind. Botchchan, you say? It's true, much of his misfortune is due to his own principles and the roughshod ways he applies them. And since the novel follows him from boyhood, something that reminds the reader of his youth throughout his journey is quite fitting. Botchchan is a splendid title. I'm rife with inspiration. <laughs> Glad I could help. Glad I could help. This is going to be ten times the novel that I'm a something or other was. Let's get Ryan before death claims me at last. <laughs> Alright. Work hard and give the death scene a rest, yeah? Okay, so now we actually have to... Leave and come back? Because I'm guessing I could have done this a while ago. I just avoided it after the mark showed up because I thought it was going to trigger a cutscene the moment I entered the building, but nope. Nope, that's probably not going to happen until I enter my room. Saito-san, I owe you a great deal of gratitude for your help. Yeah. I don't think I did all that much. How'd the new story go? <laughs> it's selling very well, actually. That's good to hear. You finished it pretty quickly. What can I say? When inspiration takes hold of me, the words simply manifest. I've received many letters from my readers again. Bachchan truly seems to have struck a chord with the audience. 
Oh yeah? What are they saying? In so many words, it's a runaway success. People are especially charmed by the protagonist's simple yet absurd nickname. That's great. I couldn't have done it without you, Saito-san. Here, I'd like you to have this as a gift. Fine silk fabric. Now, I confess, a great urge to strike while the iron is hot and produce something new quickly. <laughs> All ready to work. Already ready to work again, huh? Any ideas? Yes, indeed, my good man. In this tale, our narrator exchanges mail with an older mentor, whom he affectionately calls Sensei, ultimately receiving the man's written life story. He travels to visit his Sensei, but finds he's passed away. Our main character received his last testament posthumously. That testament recounts Sensei's youth in the country, and the relationships he's developed as he grew older. For you see, Sensei had a beloved compatriot named named Kei. Yet Kei adored the woman whom Sensei eventually married. This leads Kei to commit suicide, and many years later, Sensei himself succumbs to grief and takes his own life as well. Hmm. Interesting premise. So is anything giving you trouble this time? Of course. Once again, I am unable to think of a title. Please, Saito-san. I need your advice one more time. Hmm. A tangle of friendship and romance. Men who commit suicide due to the pain of losing the people they cherish. It's a story about relationships and emotions. You should call it Heart, Cleavage, or Animal Barn. Heart. Heart. Heart? It's simple, poetic. I think it's wonderful. Heart. It evokes so much with so little. The yearning hearts of the protagonist, his mentor, and Kay, all witheringly isolated yet united by their humanity. Perfect. Mm. I think you'll write something great. Nothing sc scintillates my creativity like a good title. This will be my magnum opus. I'll earn the reprieve from death you granted me. <laughs> Don't mention it about dying. Really, stop mentioning it. Okay, now we leave and come back again. Oh, Saito-san. Hey, how's your work coming along? <laughs> my good man, my books are selling like never before. That's impressive. It's kind of fun sharing an inn with a popular yeah. author. We've done far more together than lodge in the same boarding house. The world may well come to call me a literary giant, yet without your help, I'd have written nary a word. I'm satisfied. But embarrassed as well. Huh. Mm. Don't worry about it. Saito-san, thank you. Here, I'd like you to have this. European fabric. These last three novels have taken a toll on me, I feel. I think I'd like to spend some time sightseeing in Kyo. Huh. I'd say you've earned a break. Indeed. And after that, I shall most assuredly, assuredly sleep like the dead. No, seriously, dude. Stop talking about... Start mentioning death. Okay. I think with that, that's the end... That's the last of the chapter... Of the sub-stories that we can do at the moment. And next time, unlike a Dragon Ishin, we are going to be... Continuing on with the main story. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.